Hello everybody, you're watching Jive TV. This is Jive Trends, the show that keeps you updated on what's happening in and around Africa. My name is Keith Koza, and I don't get to do this by myself. I'm joined by none other than Kirtley Gwindi. Together, we form the Jive Trends duo. Kirtley, welcome. Thank you, thank you so much. Yes, indeed, Kurt by name and uh, not by nature. Thank you so much uh, for joining us and making sure that your Jive TV is your program of choice and uh, particularly this Jive Trends segment uh, where we make sure that we keep you abreast with all the social trends and the viral topics. Now, we'd start off by thanking uh, a very special group of people who managed to make us look this good today. Oh, I know y'all have never seen Keith in a suit. Very, very odd day for us. We might need to brand it. Just, you know, a little <laughs> slick one somewhere, a little slick somewhere. Yes, indeed. A uh, big shout out to Venice Menswear um, for making sure that the Jive Joe looks good on this uh, set. We'll get right into it, Keith. Yes, without further ado. Yes, indeed. Uh, there is a wedding that is particularly trending on social media, and this wedding hasn't even happened. But people wa kunzwa badare mari, kunzwa one muchato, not attend even. Virtually, just to see. Shiriko. <laughs> yes, indeed, my TT uh, has come to social media. She took to her Facebook page via a live, uh, um, a live video on her Facebook, and she's talking about how she is going to have people attend by virtually by paying five dollars. Others are even pledging to pay more than that. Twenty. Uh, I think that's the conclusion. Eh, Marinda na ibar fe fe kawandi sa kuona wano wandi nongo wona every day. Ah, fe fe kawandi sa. I guess that's what a superstardom as well as yeah. being a socialite uh, means. Uh, do let us know your views and comments on that issue because yeah, we'll give you more developments of what's going on, uh, particularly to do with the Catwoman and Nyads uh, Gungweti <laughs> or Catwoman. We love her. We love to talk about. Oh, very her. much. But uh, we're not too sure. But yeah, we joy. Cool. What if Keith? What if she doesn't actually get married in the end? It's about drama five dollars. Something has to Anyway, we move along with our stories this morning. We're taking you from Zimbabwe all the way to the Dutch, to Netherlands, uh, where we're taking a look at a story where Jacqua. Yes, the reggae artist, the reggae sensation has been sentenced to six years in a Dutch prison for stabbing his promoter. Yes, this was a story that made noise a long time ago. Azo, azo, but one has. Uh, the sentencing happened um, just earlier this week, and we're taking a look now at uh, the conditions around what happened. You know, this man had not been paid his money, and you know how frustrating it is. You do a gig, you do a gig so well um, from, you know, the call, Van Bonzo. Maria Bude, is he justified? No, it's not. There's, there's no justifying and stabbing someone like upon him. My song like, call on me, and then you're stabbing people. Let's not get into it. <laughs> I don't even know how you became a singer. And you came to Zimbabwe, and then you're being this violent. He was given a name, but what I do know is there was a conversation earlier that, uh, you know. <laughs> you know, so um, we're not we're not sure how Jack Hugh is gonna cure himself out of prison. Uh, but <laughs> what we do know is um, he has been sentenced to six years, and this is not in uh, Jamaica. It's going to be in the Dutch prison. So like, uh, he's doing it in a foreign land. I hear they're cozy there, and they'll take good care of him. So. Mm. Call on me. Yeah, call on him, call on whoever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if they'll pick up while you're in prison. We move along with our stories on Jive Trends today as we pay particular attention to one celebrity, um, a celebrity, a designer, someone who holds fashion in his own palm. And yes, this is Tommy Hilfiger. Tommy Hilfiger, um, you know, we took you from uh, the Netherlands and now we're back here in Zimbabwe where he was. And he was celebrating his birthday. How old is Tommy Hilfiger? Because this guy in Dirumupan and Antony Tommy Hilfiger, no one had to primary. Absolutely. It won't be a surprise even if you're wearing Tommy Hilfiger boxers right now. It's, it's, a, it's a possibility. <laughs> so the American fashion designer, um, popularly known as Tommy Hilfiger, but his government, government name being uh, Thomas Jacob Hilfiger, was uh, recently spotted in Zimbabwe. And uh, he's popularly known um, 
as uh, one of the most famous for being the founder of the eponymous um, Tommy Hilfiger Corporation, the lifestyle brand that made his name uh, go far. And uh, this was his 70th belated birthday. Yeah, he looks, we celebrating. he looks 80 though, just say. <laughs> Looks a bit pale. So some of the visuals you can see there on your screen are him and the team, you know, uh, just uh, getting cozy and. Team uh, Yajun Davy, Team Yani. No, this is the team at Victoria Falls. Oh, okay. Show. All right. Yes, he spent two nights. Thank you for uh, clarifying. Yeah, clarifying that. that. Mm. <laughs> yes, that that that's Tommy Hilfiger there. And uh, finally. Happy um, birthday, happy, Mr. Hilfiger. Yeah, happy birthday. I don't Mr. mind a set of boxes. And thank you for speaking to Zimbabwe. Let me say this. Zimbabwe is the destination of choice in terms of tourism. This is to everyone watching from wherever you are in the world. Visit Zimbabwe. Zimbo. Amen. Hallelujah. Zimbo. Zimbo is a good Bo last number. And Venice Bo Fuji because their pickets are kids. Bo last number. <laughs> but in Shutopi it's out there. Yeah, because the slick one doesn't really look slick. Yeah. Well, he doesn't think he looks slick in suits. But yeah. we have to convince him. So let us know in the comment section that mm, he's looking yeah. good. And you will keep doing this week after week. The bird is in the tree. We need... <laughs> it was under grass. <laughs> it was under grass. But now it's in the tree. On top of the tree. <laughs> okay. So the last clip we're going to share with you <laughs> is particularly to do with that sensation, which is the snake under grass sensation. But, uh, you know, we don't know where the makeup is the answer these days because sometimes you may be what they call catfished. And Chinochkisa sometimes now is the fact that um, these girls are even using makeup to make themselves look ugly. And, and then, then look, bounce back. Bounce back, looking better than... So it's like a, it's like a double whammy. Uh, flip flop, pop, pop. Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Let's have a look. Beware. <laughs> Beware. My stand's more much much here. Where? Eh, my stand's more much. Oh, my God. Oh. It's in the undergrass. Beware. Yo. I'm going to take it to the other one. As you can see, you cannot just have one papoga. Uh, this lady her she goes by the name of her uh, blessings and uh, she's a gis technician a makeup artist and someone who has interest in dance but uh, let's focus on the makeup artistry mm. because that is some incredible skill Ma, what a, what a film and she's going to be our costume <laughs> artist and makeup artist <laughs> she does it well she does it well yeah as you can see no mm. Keep. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all we have in terms of our Jive trends um, at this particular afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us on Jive TV. My name is Kurt Gindi, Kurt by name and not by nature. Do remember to follow us on all our social media platforms at Jive TV Official. That's where you'll find us, tweet us, and we'll tweet you back. We are everywhere on TikTok, Instagram, uh, we're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, and uh, Instagram. We are actively yes instagram too we're actively engaging and uh we're fun yeah yeah and if you've got a uh, talent of your own that you'd like to share on our channel please get in touch if you want to get featured on jive sessions get in touch if there's a story you think that should be trending and we need to also mention on jive trends get in touch we are here we are touchable absolutely and now we gotta go thank you so much to venice menswear for dressing us this has been your jive duo keith and Kirtley. peace peace